We see it all the time in real life encounters. Compliance is no guarantee of safety. Hi everyone, it's John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Brazil. Here we see what certainly looks like a personal vendetta or a beef to me that's going to escalate very quickly. And we're gonna learn some important lessons about awareness and about compliance not always being your best bet. The guy at the counter here is a security guard. He's got like a flashlight in his hand and this guy comes in, he's got a gun on him and you see him put it down and totally comply and not give this guy any problems at all. He's got a huge revolver in his hand and he just walks over where the guy tells him and the guy shoots him and, and this is as much as it's over. That wasn't a robbery. That certainly looked personal to me. We see the other angle here. You can see the guard. I think that's a gun on his hip, on his right hip. And when he looks over, the guy's like, whoa, hey, man. And he gives up completely. And you can see that this the, the gunman here sends him back into the back of the store, doesn't wait for him or nothing, and just shoots him right in the face and walks out. And that's how this one ends. Now, there are multiple lessons on this one. I want you to go to my website, link in the description on those. Let's talk about the most important ones here. First one is situational awareness. This guy, that's the, this guard is totally paying attention to what's inside the store, not where danger is coming outside the store. I'm not saying you always have to be hyper vigilant, but knowing where your threats are, which are outside the store is important. Next, he's totally compliant. You notice he doesn't give this guy any reason to shoot him whatsoever. Totally compliant, but compliance doesn't always work. Compliance is not always an effective strategy. So sometimes you'll hear just comply, it'll work out for the best. Sometimes it does, but right here you can clearly see that it didn't work out for the best here because he paid with his life. You know, we do talk about spiritual fitness and active self-protection, making sure that you're right with your loved ones, right with God, because you never know when that moment's coming. Finally, we want to talk here about the five Ds, about knowing when your time is to fight back. This guy had a couple of opportunities, most particularly here, when the guy's got a gun out, but it's not really ready to shoot. He's not, he's not emotionally and mentally ready to shoot. Uh, our, our victim here could have gotten his hands on that gun and at least had a shot, but he did not take it. And because he didn't, he paid with his life. So... Be aware of what's going on around you. Know that compliance isn't always the best answer. Know when to use the opportunities when you feign compliance to protect yourself so that you can cover your ASP.